Hello friends, this video on Kvaldipa 20 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 19. Let's take one example. A man is known to speak the truth three-fourth three fourth the time. He throws a die and report it is six. Find the probability it's actually six. So here we have to find the probability that it is six. Right? Given that this guy reports 6. Correct? Probability of the die is actually 6 even that is report 6. This guy is equal to probability of, we will just use the formula first. Report 6 given it is 6 into probability of 6 by probability of report 6. So with this it gives an idea of which kind of graph you have to make. Correct? So when this guy throws a die, this guy let's suppose throw a die, this can be a 6, this can not, may not be a 6, maybe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right, two options. And probability of getting 6 is 1 by 6, probability of getting not 6 is 5 by 6, 5 options. Now in both the times he may speak true or false, right, true or false. Correct. So if this guy is speaking true, this guy is reporting 6 here. Because 6 was there, actually 6 came and he reported true. In this case, if it is not 6 and if it is telling false, that means he is reporting 6. Hope you understand this. And both the case, true is 3 by 4 and false is 1 by 4. True is 3 by 4, who is false is 1 by 4. So this guy is throwing a die and die can be 6 or may not be 6. Now if it is 6 and if it is if it is telling true that means that time is reporting 6. And if it is telling false he may report some other numbers. I am not bothered about other number, I am bothered about report of 6 only so I just wrote report 6 here. In this case he may get 1, 2, 3 or 5. Now he will report 6 only if he is telling lie. Right? If he gets 1, 2, 3 or 4 or 5, if he reports false, then only he is reporting 6. Correct? And that is my structure. Correct? This is 6 and this is not 6. Actually. To make my life simple. 6 and not 6. If it is not 6, he is reporting false, that means he is reporting 6. So let's put the values in the theorem now. Probability of 6, given 6, if 6 is there, and probability of report of 6 is 3 by 4, correct? Because given it is 6, then he is reporting 6 in 3 by 4 probability. Into probability of 6, probability of 6 is 1 by 6. Divide by. Probability of report 6, there are two options. One is this path. Other is this path. We'll take both path. Path 1 is 1 by 6 into 3 by 4. Correct. 1 by 6 into 3 by 4. Second is 5 by 6 into 1 by 4 because in this path is reporting 6. It's 5 by 6 into 1 by 4. And we solve this. This is 3 by 8. And that is my answer. So probability that this guy reports. Uh, this guy actually 6 has come given he has reported 6 is 3 by 8. So you can trust him 3 by 8 times if it is telling 6. Hope you understand this question. This guy either says true or false. He says true 3 by 4 times and false 1 by 4 times. Correct. You throw a die, you may get 6, you may not get 6. The probability that you get 6 is 1 by 6. Probability you may not get, you may you get not 6 is 5 by 6. When you get 6, this guy reports 6 3 by 4 times. When you don't get 6, he still reports 6 1 by 4 times. So you get this graph. You define the probability of 6 given he has reported 6. Using Bayes theorem, you toppled this, then you became probability of report 6 given 6 into probability of 6 by probability of report 6. Probability of report 6 given 6, you took 6 as baseline. So this becomes 3 by 4. Probability of 6 is 1 by 6, we know, divided by this guy. Correct. 
let's take one more example so the question says of the student in the college known as 60 percent are hostlers and 40 percent are day skis day scholars previous year result report that 30 percent of the students who reside in hostel get got a grade so i'll make like this so you have uh, students they can be either hostlers or day scholars right hostlers or day scholars in hostlers 30 percent of the students who reside in hostel got a grade so 30 percent got a grade and 20 percent of the day scholars got a grade 20 percent of day scholars got a grade correct in the examination at the end of the year one student is chosen at random from the college and he has gotten a grade find the probability that this guy is hostel that means i have to find the probability that this guy is hostler given that he has got a grade this is nothing but probability of a given hostler to topple this into probability of hostler by probability of a grade correct bs theorem so probability of a given hostler so hostler is given probability of a grade is 30 percent that is 30 by 100 probability of hostler is 60 percent and probability of day scholar is 40 percent given into probability of hostler that is 60 percent divide by probability of a a can be achieved in two way this way and this way add both that is 60 by 100 first path into 30 by 100 plus 40 by 100 day scholar path into 20 by 100 so if you solve this you get 9 by 30 and that is your answer very simple correct on a difficult question you just apply the base theorem and got the answer so you had students who are hostlers day scholars the hostler 30 percent got a grade 20 percent of day scholars got a grade The question says there are three coins, one is two-headed coin, that means it has both heads. The another is a biased coin that comes 75% time head, that is 75% head, 25% tail. The third is unbiased time, that is 50% head, 50% tail. This you can say 100% head and 0% tail. So one of the coin is chosen at random and toss, it shows head. So one of these is chosen from random, we don't know which one is chosen. And it gives you head. Find the probability that it was two headed coin. So let this be coin 1, coin 2 and coin 3. The question says that it is given that it is head, find that it is a coin 1. This is how to find. This is nothing but using Bayes theorem. This is the of probability of head given C1 into probability of C1 by probability of head. Correct. So let's draw the graph. So you uh, you pick one. You can pick C1. You can pick C2. You can pick C3. And that is equal probable of picking one. So one by three for C1, one by three for C2, and one by three for C2. You can pick any of this. C1, C2, C3. Now C1 can have head or tail. So head will be where it is 1, tail is 0. Why? Because it is biased. This can also get head or tail. Head will be 75% and tail will be 0%. Sorry, 25%. And this C3 is unbiased. So this also may get head and tail. But here it will be 50% and 50%. Correct? This guy is 100%, making 100% actually. Go all we need in person. Okay, it's 100% head, this is 0% tail, 75% head, 25% tail, 50% head, 50% tail. Probability of head given C1, if C1 is taken, probability of head is 100%, that is 100 by 100. Into probability of selecting C1 is 1 by 3. Divide by probability of getting head. So you get head from three paths. One path is death, one path is this one path so you add all path one 
that is 1 by 3 into probability of getting ahead is 100%, 100 plus path 2 C2 that is 1 by 3 into 75% here, 7500 plus path 3, 1 by 3 into 50 by 100. Correct? So if you solve this, you get 4 by 9 and that is your answer. Easy question or a difficult one? You just apply the Bayes theorem, put the values, get the answer. We'll take one example. Insurance company insured 2000 scooters or scooter drivers, 400 car drivers, 600 truck drivers. The equivalent the accidents are 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.5 of the insured person with, what are the insured person with accident, what is the probability of the scooter driver? So we have some scooter drivers, car driver and bus drivers. And they are like two, uh, 2,000 scooter drivers, so this is 2,000, 4,000 car drivers and 6,000 truck drivers. This company has insured this many drivers. And the probability of the accidents are for scooter driver is 0 0.01, correct, for car driver is 0 0.03. And for truck driver is 0.1. This is the probability of accidents in all these three segments. And one person met the accident, we have to find that the probability that is a scooter driver. We have to find the probability of the scooter driver, right, given that accident happens. This is nothing but probability of accident given scooter into probability of scooter by probability of accident. Correct? So probability of accident given scooter into probability of scooter into accident. So if my scooter is selected the probability of accident is what? Or let me draw a graph here, it will be good for you. So I am talking about the insurance company, right? So you can select these three. This is 600, 6000, 4000 and 2000. Total is 6 plus 4, 10 plus 2, 12,000. So probability of selecting this guy will be 6 by 12. This guy will be 4 by 12 and this guy will be 2 by 12. I hope you understand this. Total number of insured, insured drivers are 12,000. 6,000 by 12,000 are the probability of selecting the bus drivers. 4,000 by 12,000 is 4 by 12 is the probability of selecting the car drivers. And 2,000 by 12,000 is 12, 2 by 12 is the probability of selecting scooter drivers. Right? So, probability of accident given the scooter is selected, this guy, scooter is selected. The probability of accident is what? 0 0.01, 0 0.01. Into probability of selecting scooter 2 by 12, 2 by 12 by probability of accidents. So there are three scenarios for accidents. We'll take all the three paths, right? First path is the bus one that becomes 6 by 12. The probability of selecting bus driver into accident is 0.15 plus selecting car driver 4 by 12 into 0 0.03 plus scooter driver 2 by 12 into point zero. Correct. So if you solve this, what you get is 1 by 22. And that is the probability that the if the accident happened, the probability that it happened from a scooter driver is 1 by 50. So if you see in real life, we do need such kind of things because the insurance company, let's suppose, has insured this many vehicles, this many scooters, this many cars, this many truck drivers, and this is the data we have. They want to know what is the probability that no accident comes, accident case comes, what is the probability that it is a scooter case. So those kind of, on based on those things, they can determine the rates of the insurance and all the stuff. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.